Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Shruti and in today's video, I am going to share with you all everything that you need to prepare to crack a product based company. So a little intro about me first. So I am Shruti, I am a 2023 computer science engineering graduate from IIT Indore. Post that I've started working as software engineer at Goldman Sachs in Bangalore and it's been little over 1.5 years now. Yeah, let's get into the video. So first, we have product based companies and service based companies. Difference so product based companies are the companies where they have their own product or a business solution which the customers or the businesses directly use. So majorly companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Adobe are come under product based companies category. All these companies have their own products like Microsoft own everything, almost everything in Windows ecosystem. Google have ton of their own products. Amazon is its own marketplace and they also provide cloud services using AWS. So majorly e-companies lo panji se value. They majorly work on maintaining the already existing product or improving the product, adding new features to the product or uh, maybe building a new product altogether. And uh, next we have service based companies. Service based companies lo they provide ID solutions to the businesses or the clients which reach out to them. So on contract basis or project basis, people mostly work on client based deliverables and in the client communication is also one of the most important thing and while the requirements but people work on the projects. So the employees working there majorly work on different projects for different with different requirements based on the clients. And uh, uh, examples for these companies are the well known Infosys, TCS, Wipro and Cognizant. So generally market low, product based companies pay a little more than service based companies and also both in terms of work like balance, perks and growth, product based companies are considered as a better ones. Than for some money, most of the people wish to work at product based companies. So here in this video, I am going to share with you how the interview process of these companies, product based companies look like and what all topics do they expect from the candidate. So the first and the most important thing which all the product based companies look for and test in a candidate is their DSA and problem solving skills. DSA and de, data structures and algorithms. So you will pick a language and start the language. You will first learn the syntax and the basic things in the language. And you will also learn the primitive data types in that language. So primitive data types and de, they are the basic building blocks of data storage. So, in every language, lo, we have int, char, bool and all these data types. We need primitive data types. Under. So, e primitive data types, wadi, we make a collection of these primitive data types to build more complex data types called data structures. So, data, data structures are the ways to store and organize the data and they provide us efficient ways to modify, insert, delete and retrieve the data. So there are color data structures and based on the language the names might change but the basic ones remains the same. They are arrays, stacks and queues, linked list, hash maps, etc. So we did manam data structures and And the next one is algorithms. Algorithms under aim layer is just a fancy term for the logic or the steps that you use to solve a problem. So basically, already available in data structures ni body, oka logic apply this, oka problem ni solve this napulo, a logic or the steps that we have followed is called as algorithms. It's as simple as that. But we also have some standard algorithms. Standard algorithms and manaki already kuni well-defined or predefined standard problems. A problems ki there are people who already proposed most optimized in terms of both space and time and a well-defined solution. So, so already kony standard problems ki manaki solutions or the logic available unnai. So, so the standard algorithms include searching algorithms, sorting algorithms, greedy algorithms, dynamic programming algorithms and graph algorithms. There might be some more also but these are the standard algorithms. So once you are familiar with data structures and once you solve or do this standard algorithms, you will get an idea ki how we solve a problem or how we approach a problem. After that, you can practice more and more problems on different flat platforms and after that, whenever you are given a problem, you are expected to use one of those data structure which best suits the problem and apply one of the algorithm or even sometimes or most of the times come up with your own algorithm to solve the problem. 
and private based companies lo as i said this is one of the major deciding factor in interviews endukante indulo they test your problem solving skills they also test how you optimize it in terms of both space and time so data structures algorithms is one of the important and the most asked thing in the private based companies interviews okavela meek ganka detailed road map and resources to learn data structures and algorithms kavalante please comment down below i'll definitely make a video a separate dedicated video on this topic yeah and the next one and also an important another important one which is most asked in the interviews is the cs fundamentals cs fundamentals are the core cs topics or the concepts which every software engineer needs to know so in the if the data structure algorithms are difficult to know but these are some really helpful concepts which you actually apply in your daily work so if we uh they are based a little less based on logic but more about concept and theory uh it's about knowing how things actually work and what are the principles that we apply in the again we have four major topics the first one is oops oops ante object oriented programming system so based on the language you pick syntax maartu undochu but the oops concepts remain the same oops lo we majorly deal with classes objects methods and attributes so oops lo inga four major principles untai encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and abstraction ee concepts are widely used in the industry to create more scalable manageable and bug free code so these are so oops is majorly a uh, computer science paradigm to understand how to actually write better code right and this is comparatively little easier than data structures and algorithms because it's more about knowing knowing how things are done more and less about the logic right so this is one of the uh, simplest topic to prepare for and the next one is dbms dbms and a database management system database management system is a software which helps us to store retrieve manage and modify data very efficiently so basically database are just the collection of organized data and our data ni नीट मन ईजी रिट्री चुस्कानी मोडिफ ऐक्स वाड़ी साफ्टवेर ने मैं डीबीएमएस अटाँव सो डीबीएमएस हेल्प इन अलाट आफ वेज इट ऐस ई टोल आल दापर्टी दट इट प्रोवैड्स एलांग विथ दट इट आलो हेल्प इन कंक कंकरे कंट्रोल क्वेरी कंट्रोल बैकअप अं रिकवरी सेक्यूरी अंड ऐक्स कंट्रोल सो इवन डीबीएमएस चूसकन सो वी डोट हाव टू वरी अलाट अबउट द मेनेजेंट बट the data that we are storing can be of many uh, so the database management system that we choose can be of many types one can be uh, the major one that we all generally use is relational database management systems so our dbms antar anamata and also we have some others also like uh, nosql which is not majorly asked during the interviews but it's good to have some idea on what those are but uh, coming back to relational database management systems in the law we know that we use this when we know that the data is structured and we want to have and we know that there are there will be a lot of relations between the tables that we create in the data so in the law we assume all the data is stored in the form of tables and we can create as many tables as we want and we can have relations between this table using foreign keys and we have some particular features for each table which uniquely defines each row and columns and all such things so meri vanni nechukovali and also we should understand how these schemas are built how what is an er diagram what is the relationships how can you join the tables and all these things ivanni tho paatu one of the major thing in dbms is sql sql ante structured query language it's a language which you use to communicate with the dbms so meri sql lo queries rasi you can do all the actions like in creating new tables inserting data into the table updating the tables querying the table with different conditions with different group by, group by and all so it is kuda one of the major topic and interviews lo interviewers might even ask you to write the queries for different use cases so sql needs kodam kuda is one of the important thing and this is all about dbms after that the next most important thing or the most important cs fundamental topic is OS, OS and the operating system. So, if we are talking about some any software uh, solutions, go ahead. See, software lo itla ko rasta mo adi adi an matter kono. Kani anta ekka rano thunde. Ida anta rane yadi some machines liya. But what is a machine? Machine in a physical form is just a hardware, right? So, 
ఈ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఈ హార్డ్వేర్ మీద రన్ అవ్వాలంటే ఈ రెండింటి మధ్యలో ఒక లేయర్ ఉంటుంది అండ్ దాట్ ఈజ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ ఇన్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ అ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ విచ్ హెల్ప్స్ ఇన్ బెటర్ రిసోర్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ మెమరీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ప్రాసెస్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ బిట్వీన్ ద సాఫ్ట్వేర్ అండ్ ద హార్డ్వేర్ ఆన్ విచ్ వి రన్ ద సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఆన్ సో బేసిక్లీ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో వన్ ఆఫ్ ద కోర్ సిఎస్ ఫండమెంటల్ టాపిక్ విచ్ ఎవ్రీబడి హ్యాస్ టు నో అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్సో టెస్టెడ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ సో ఇందులో మేజర్లీ దేర్ ఆర్ సమ్ స్టాండర్డ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ అండ్ ద standard topics that uh, you can get anywhere you have to prepare all of those topics but again this is this can be considered on an easy side because it's mostly theory and it's easy to understand and you can easily go through the concepts and uh, learn about it endukante already existing things ne vinne chestunnaru there's some there's nothing to there it has nothing to do with the logic or you know problem solving skills and also compared to bs and all other things os is little bit on the easier side so after this the final and the little bit interesting uh, cs topic is computer networks computer networks ipudu manam andaram okartha na peretla maatladukuntunnamu the entire world is connected and it's all because of the internet how does internet work what is internet how does two different services communicate with each other how is data transferred across the services how is what is back end what is front end how everything is connected with each other all of this comes under computer networks so in the law we have different protocols we have different topologies we have different uh, security controls and a lot of things but also again it's all theory it is easy to learn and uh, but also it gives us a very good understanding of how everything actually functions in the real, real world so this is the final one and with this we have come to the end of cs fundamentals topic so basically dsi ayipindi next cs fundamentals ayipindi next thing em untundi ante so majorly rounds lo they ask like ok round if it is for one hour vallu ok one or two dsi questions adigi last 15 20 minutes lo they might ask you some questions related to cs fundamentals ivanni kaakunda they in project based companies lo ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ లో దేర్ మైట్ బి అ సపరేట్ రౌండ్ ఫర్ యువర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ అంటే ఏవో అడగరు మీరు రెజ్యూమేలో పెట్టిన ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ మీదనే అడుగుతారు సో ఇట్ హెవీలీ డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ దట్ యూ పుట్ ఆన్ యువర్ రెజ్యూమే సో ప్లీజ్ మేక్ ష్యూర్ యూ పుట్ ఓన్లీ దోస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ విచ్ యూ డిట్ ఇన్ యువర్ రెజ్యూమే బట్ ఇఫ్ ఎట్ ఆల్ యూ పుట్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ దట్ ఆర్ ఇన్ టూర్స్ ప్లీజ్ మేక్ ష్యూర్ యూ నో ఇన్ అండ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్ అసలు ఆ ప్రాజెక్ట్ లో ఏ టెక్స్ టాక్ వాడారు ఆ ప్రాజెక్ట్ లో ఏమేమి ఫీచర్స్ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేశారు అసలు ఈచ్ కాంపనెంట్ ఎట్లా కమ్యూనికేట్ అవుతుంది ఒక దాంతో ఒకటి అసలు ఆ ప్రాజెక్ట్ చేయడానికి మెయిన్ మోటివ్ ఏంటి ఇలాంటి అన్నిటికి ఆన్సర్స్ తో రెడీగా ఉండాలి అనమాట దాని తర్వాత ఇఫ్ యూ ఇఫ్ దాట్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఇస్ గ్రూప్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ మీరు అది గ్రూప్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ గ్రూప్ తో కనుక చేస్తుంటే మీరు ఆ గ్రూప్ తో గ్రూప్ లో వర్క్ ఎలా డిస్ట్రిబ్యూట్ చేశారు హౌ యూ ఆల్ వర్క్ విత్ ఈచ్ అదర్ హౌ డిడ్ యూ Uh, come up with ideas so one need me the code questions are there so please be prepared with all of those things so majorly need choose not the work in the projects low if you are a fresher or uh, somebody in the call somebody who is still in the college mostly we projects web development may be there and then there might be some people who might be interested in ml or some other things and they might have projects with andlo kuda that is also very good thing but uh, web development lo projects unte matram uh, which i also had uh, during my, my interview process the projects i had of were of web development and lo mimmalni so database design gurinchi asal architecture gurinchi dan gurinchi kuda questions adugutaru so please be prepared for all of those things so that is all guys that is all about this video so in the role let's just briefly go through everything that we have covered in this video so first we have seen the difference between product based companies and the service based companies then tarvata we have seen all the topics that are important for interview preparation for product based companies and the one first dsa use and then tarvata oops then tarvata dbms os computer networks and projects these are the from what i have seen these are the major things and sometimes the only things that are asked in the product based companies and please uh, mind this is only for the freshers or the people who are still in the college experience valaki with to part to some more rounds untai like system design rounds or hld lld mid untai that i i don't have much idea of because i myself am a 1.5 years experience software engineer please do let me know if you like this video i'll make more such videos in future so please make sure you subscribe to my channel and meeku indulo ganta mana doubts unna edaina concept or topic meeda in depth video kavali resources kavali ante avi kuda adi kuda na comment section lo cheppandi and make a dedicated video for that and that is all from me guys thank you so much for uh, staying till the end of this video thank you bye bye see you all again